What's up guys, Cinewe Acorn 473 here bringing you another YouTube video. I am back with some Modern Warfare gameplay and in this video I want to talk about my sort of early thoughts on Modern Warfare. I know the game is out a couple weeks because like the game's out a couple weeks so this might be a little bit late for early thoughts but I haven't put in a huge amount of playtime yet. I've only put in maybe four hours because I have a job, I have a girlfriend, I have shit to be doing. So I haven't got to like sweat this out as much as I would like to, but my early reaction so far. Now, I've deliberately been avoiding sort of watching other YouTube videos about it with with the exception of maybe like the occasional one boom or exclusive ace video. I just haven't really been keeping up with the community because the community was one of the main things that put me off Black Ops 4 at the start like when I was really enjoying the game everyone was like either shitting on it or making like clickbaity best gun videos and because the game was always getting updated they were obsolete and it was just I don't know, I found the community really like annoying in Black Ops 4 so in Modern Warfare I'm making a conscious effort to just like avoid mainstream thought I am talking like pretty much only to my friends who have the game so that's where my references is coming from my own experiences and my friends because we are casual cod players we are not major sweats we are not like crazy mlg type you know all that shit we don't, that's not us we just you know play the game have fun and i am having a lot of fun on modern warfare so far obviously it's got some problems that is undeniable every video game has problems i think people expect this game to be perfect because you know uh, Black Ops 4 rubbed a lot of people up the wrong way, and then you see this, it's like a return to classic COD, you know, Modern Warfare, boots on the ground, very like, quote unquote, tactical gameplay, and then, so obviously some people get their hopes up maybe too high, and certain things piss them off, like, I'm gonna just kinda, this is not scripted, this is very random, this is my just first kinda gut reactions with the game, as like, the game would change over time, like I loved Black Ops 4 on day 1, I was thinking it was the best card since Black Ops 2. That is obviously incorrect now, having played it like for a good bit of the year and seeing it just kinda, it felt like it got worse as time went on. I'm really not a big fan of Black Ops 4 anymore. Um, so far my reaction from Modern Warfare has been almost unanimously positive. The main thing I see people complaining about is corner campers, and to that I say check check your corners man like so i don't know like yes corner camping is annoying like in other cards you run into a room someone's sitting in the corner and it's fucking annoying because the whole point like the whole point of other card gameplay is like fast paced run and gun twitch shooting you want to meet your guy face on and whoever reacts the fastest wins but in this game it's not really about that like so when i go into a room right i'm like I actually check the corners as I go in I make sure there's no one you know a claymore like there's no snipers posted up anywhere which they added that flash from battlefield when the snipers aiming at you the screen like you get like that bright like lens flare looking thing I love that by the way that's really cool um just I don't know I like the slower pace gameplay I find it more tense in a cat and mouse chase in a building with a guy than just a team of six just running at each other with their specialists. I much prefer the slower pace kind of like peek in your corners thing. That's just what I like to play. I play a lot more Battlefield than I do COD nowadays and I like that like going into a room and not knowing how many enemies are in it and trying to like work your way around it. I also like camping an objective like not in the sense of like sitting in a corner weapon trained at a door like I'm kind of doing right now but like there's so many vantage points I can get shot from. So I'm and now I'm debating whether or not to run out and get another gun or not, or will I be shot when I move? Like, but I took the risk and it paid off. So that's what I like, as opposed to just like oh, I have my specialist, let's go, boom, boom, boom. I like having to think about what I'm doing. Um, another thing people are complaining about is the maps, how asymmetrical they are. Again, this is a thing that I want. Also, yeah, kill streaks really quick. Is it? I maybe I'm an idiot, and this map is mostly indoors. Or are they just kind of lackluster? Like, I don't get high streaks that often, so I was expecting to go in. And I know everyone's hiding inside, and also I'm not that accurate. But, like, I, I expected a little more from a chopper gunner. But, anyway, that's just a little anecdote, or a little side thing. Maybe kill streaks are better, and I'm just a dumbass. Maybe it'll work better on an open map. 
Well, it definitely will work better on an open map. This is probably not a good map for a chopper gunner. Uh, also, I love this map as well. Hackney Yard is one of my favourites. There's so much like verticality to it. It reminds me of Freight from Ghosts, which in my opinion is one of the best maps in that game. Uh, anyway, um, what was I saying? Fuck. See, I'm really like spaced out. I only woke up a little bit ago. Maps. Yeah, I love the asymmetry of the maps. I was really sick of the three-lane map design, especially in like Black Ops 3, uh, World War 2, Black Ops 4. Every map in that game, Black Ops 3 not so much, but every map in World War 2 and Black Ops 4 kind of just felt the same. They all played the same way. You have your three lanes, you flank around either side, or you fucking run up the middle. It just got boring. Like, every map on BO4, like, just felt the same. Like, there really was no difference in gameplay between, like, frequency and payload. They all played the same. And it just got really tedious, but at least in this game, it's like, okay, yeah, some maps are not great. That fucking palace one, I'm not a fan. There's another one as well. Uh, everyone shits on Piccadilly for being really all over the place, and I've had nothing but good matches on Piccadilly. Maybe I've gotten really on. Maybe I've gotten really lucky, but I really like that map. I don't know why everyone shits on it. Um, it's not amazing or anything. Like it is weirdly asymmetrical, but like. I don't, I don't know, I just, I don't get the hate for it, just because it's not a big three-lane map, like, you can just copy and paste a three-lane design, put a new aesthetic on it, there's no creativity to it, these maps feel like actual locations, there's different, like, entry points, it's not so much harder to flank, but it's more rewarding if you can pull off a flank, if you pull off a flank, get dead silence, you're in the enemy's spawn, sneak up behind them, kill a lot of them without them even knowing you're there, it's magical. Um, yeah, so, the map criticism is a bit, like, over the top. I think people are so used to a certain way of playing, which the Call of Duty map design has been three-lane for a long time. Modern Warfare wasn't, and people loved those maps. Ghost wasn't, and people hated those maps. The reason I think people hate ghost maps is because they were very large, but still 6v6. A lot of the time I'm playing TDM in this, it's like 9v9, or 10v10, depending on how many players you can get in the lobby, and I think that helps. The maps would definitely be a lot worse if it was not 10v10. I don't play 6v6 TDM on this that much, because it's a bit more boring i think like having the larger player counts really helps uh i suppose the last thing i really want to talk about also by the way i haven't touched the campaign yet uh let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a play through the campaign i'd appreciate it if people actually like told me what they want me to do with that because i would like to play through it on youtube but if no one wants to watch it i'm not going to do it um i'll just play it off screen myself just fire through it really quick um yeah, I was going to say one. Oh, the gunplay is by far my favourite thing about this game. I love how everything feels. I love how tight the aiming is. Not every gun is perfectly balanced. I know, you have the 725 shotgun, blah, 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 blah. That will eventually not be a problem. Because nowadays we live in an era where guns are patched or fixed fairly often. It's not going to be a problem. I personally don't really give a fuck. I mean, I use an assault rifle quite a lot. Except in this gameplay, weirdly enough. The AUG is a beast, by the way. Uh, everyone's talking about, like, the MP7 and stuff. AUG is my baby. Um, Kilo 141's class. I've been avoiding the deliberately OP guns that everyone talks about, like the M4. Just because I want to form my own opinion on weapons. And so far, yeah, I just really like how everything feels. Um, because of the time to kill, I assume it's going to be a bit like Modern Warfare 2, where, like, most, if not all, guns are somewhat viable if you're a good player. Which, again, I like. In Black Ops 4, the meta got so stagnant with, like, ICR, Titan, just constantly, like, Spitfire. It was just really repetitive, and that's the main thing I'm taking away from this game, is good or bad, and, like, there are some flaws. Not all the maps are great, some guns are broken, camping can be annoying, but at the end of the day, this game feels different enough to hold my attention, and I feel like it will hold my attention for a while. They've already added two free maps since the game came out. So, I'm kind of running out of time here, but yeah, basically, I really like the game so far. I'm curious to see what they do with it. This message was brought to you by Cine Video 473, stamped, sealed, and approved. If you want me to make, if you want me to make more COD videos, let me know, and I'll see you guys again next time. Peace, bye.